Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing villain. And you already know what it is, man. You rock it with the best. Yard! <laughs> Thanks for bombing my podcast again, Brooklyn. Appreciate it. <laughs> peace, ladies and gentlemen. So, got an interesting one for you today. Uh, the photo that you guys see here is Christian Louis Vuitton. Uh, a lot of people say Christian Louis Vuitton. <laughs> but it's Christian Louis Vuitton. Right? And many of you guys know this gentleman. You may not have seen him before. He probably would have walked right past you in a Walmart or something. You wouldn't even know who he was. This is the gentleman that creates those famous red sole shoes that go anywhere from $495 to about $5,000, depending if you're getting stones and the Swartzy crystals on the shit and all that stuff. But nonetheless, thank you guys for tuning in to episode, I believe this is 16 of 100 for my 100 for 100 video show. I will be doing 100 videos on sales and marketing for 100 days. So let's get right into it. This is Christian Louis Vuitton, the founder and creator of the Red Soul Shoes, right? So the question is, what would you be known for? See, there is, I, I said it before, there are riches in niches. This gentleman is a designer. He can design basically anything, but he honed his skills into designing shoes, shoes. He could have designed pants, shirts. They probably outsourced that to other designers. That's fine. But for the most part, he doesn't do purses, nothing like that, like Gucci and Louis and stuff. But he hones in on shoes. Now ask yourself, what skills are you honing in on? What skills can someone say, you know what? That person is known for that. This person is known for accounting. This person is known for taking businesses from a startup and raising it up to a multi-million dollar status. This person is known for sales and marketing. This person is known for that. What are you known for? What gives you the most joy to create? To do? What would you do if you weren't get paid you weren't even getting paid for? Like somebody could just call you tomorrow and say, "Hey, can you teach me about this?" and you'd be more than happy to divulge information to that person. What are you mastering? You should be mastering at least one thing. If not three, if I, I, me personally, I cap it out at three, like the Holy Trinity. I'm capping out at three. I want to be known for this primarily, and then these other two are by default. I'm really good at these two. But when it comes to mastering something, I'm known for sales and marketing. That is it. That is it. When you begin to master something in your business, I'm telling you right now, it is fucking amazing. I didn't believe it. I thought I had to be the jack of all trades, do all kind of shit, learn all these different businesses, be a master of none and getting money from all of these different avenues and shit like that. All I all that happened was I got tired like a motherfucker. I got tired. I got tired of ripping and running and spinning my wheels in the mud and not seeing enough progress. And if money came in from one, uh, as my homie would say, one octopus leg, it would go into another octopus leg and it will cancel each other out. It was just too much. It was too much. But when I began to hone in and master one, I was able to analyze that skill. I was able to 
test the skills in various markets. I was able to uh, conduct different tests to make, you know, to eventually come up with the most effective solution to people's problems. And like Christ, Christian Louis Vuitton, he mastered the art of creating the perfect women's shoes. Mastered the art of creating the perfect, like he's, he's taken elements over time, over a lifetime. Every time he would go, the, the red bottom shoe was inspired. The, the actual red part was inspired by nail polish red nail polish that he saw uh, women wearing. He said, wow, that would add a contrast. But if he was making purses and he was making hats, like Chanel was a master of making hats, she was known for making hats before she was known for making anything. So Coco Chanel was known for that. Louis Vuitton was known for purses. The same thing with Bergdorf. So... When you master one thing, you begin to pour all of your energy, all of your creativity, all of your great imagination and theories and stories into that product. And that product begins to take a life on its own. It becomes, if you were to Google or YouTube the story behind Louis Vuitton shoes, you would be amazed. Those shoes actually have a story of damn near 20 years. There is a storyline that goes to shoes. To me, that's amazing. Because you'll look at shoes, and a lot of us know about Michael Jordan and Jordan shoes. We know those have a story also. But we overlook it, but not realizing that those stories stick with us. And because they stick with us, we're more inclined to remember them. And when it comes time to purchase them, they're on the top of our mind and say, hey, I'm going to get some gym shoes, sneakers, whatever. Huh, let me go get some Jordans. Or I want some real expensive, you know, very elegant, respectable women's shoes. Huh, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Or if you were to run into somebody at the mall, what would you get? A lot of times right now, Louis Vuitton is at the top of the game. They have won awards for the like last five years. So I, again, I repeat it to you. What would you be known for? What have you mastered or what are you mastering now? And whatever it is, put it out there in the world and let them know that, hey, I am a master at this shit right here. I am a master, like Christian Louis Vuitton with his shoes, I have mastered this art. Therefore, if you hire me, you only cry once. You only cry once when you, when you purchase the best. And you're only crying because of the price. So peace, love, and happiness to all you guys. Shout out to Leah Hunter, Michael Anton, Al Trice, and Oli. Peace, love, and happiness. Have a great weekend. One.